Mars, Virgo, and Capricorn. Thank you for stopping by. We are talking about the planets. Venus is in the sign of Aquarius, February 16th until March 10th. Check your charts because you could have Sun or Venus in an Earth sign. And some messages in here will definitely resonate with you. This is a sequel excuse me, to my Mars readings, okay, Mars being the sign of Aquarius, check those out, maybe, maybe not, okay, but, um, like I said, this is basically just going to be a sequel to those readings, because, um, it's kind of like yin and yang energy, let's get into it, all right, um, follow me, my socials are on the screen, in the description box down below, as well as my price and contact information to book a personal reading with me, all the info will be in the pinned comment and comment section, like the video, subscribe to the channel, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, so Venus in Aquarius, February 16th until March 10th, what is it about, now for Mars and Aquarius, I told y'all, it's like, feeling as though you are being challenged to make certain changes in your life or because you're making certain changes in life, you are feeling as though you're facing certain challenges, right? So it's that do energy, that action energy, that initiate energy, okay? Getting up and going type shit, right? So Venus is about what areas in, in your life you place value on, okay? You prioritize, whether it be regarding uh, romantic relationships partnerships, material possessions, um, wherever you feel comfort, luxury, all of that, right? So this basically, the Venus transit is basically going to show you where you're going to put that energy, uh, what you're going to put that energy towards, okay? What areas in your life? I've already put your overall energy during this transit it does take place over these next couple weeks so i pull from the re the weekly oracle the deck god damn i feel like i can't talk it could be because i'm trying to say a lot work with me so overall energy the prototype right with boundaries showing up on the bottom of the deck so the prototype card for me is being in the beginning stages of something okay being in the starter phase of something with boundaries showing up on the bottom of the deck so this reminds me of you know whenever you first start like a job or uh, whenever you're in school you're starting some sort of class or courses you um you know, you show up a little bit early, you leave a little bit early. That way you can be mindful of traffic or what you need to uh, look out for. It's like some of you guys might be in the beginning stages of something. Um, and you might have to be um kind of strict or structured with yourself over how you're like doing certain things. Like um what it's it's coming to mind. You don't get a second chance to make a first impression, okay? So some of you guys, like I said, if you are, you know, in the beginning stages of something, it's like start off strong, okay? Okay, let's pull some cards because I'm interessante in it. I'm actually interested in where that's going. Um, some of you guys, I feel, have been um, very, I'm hearing rigid about certain certain practices in your life. You know, this for me is, you know, keeping a certain schedule, um, doing certain activities, sticking to certain routines. Like I said, it's because you have been, you know, setting boundaries um, within your life. And some of you guys, I feel like you could be seeing a change in regards to yourself or just things around you if you find yourself in that, you know, space of being more strict or more structured with yourself. Spirit guys, what's happening to all Earth signs during this Venus and Aquarius transit February 16th until March 10th in 2024? Okay, first one out. Is the, is the deck fucked up? No, it's not. Ten of Pentacles. Oh, no, it's not. With the Knight of Wands in reverse. So, I think that's very cool. That's what I was just talking about. Yeah, a lot of you guys are trying. Uh, it's like, it gives me a little mature. Okay, a little bit of maturity going on. The Knight of Wands is in reverse. And the Ten of Pentacles is upright. It's like some of you guys, I just heard. <laughs> you putting down your little kid buckle and picking up your adult top hat, okay? Some of you guys are in this space of um, wanting to move in a much more mature, 
um, and or stable way. A lot of y'all, this is in regards to your stability, your financial security, career and business ventures and all that. This for me is like, you know, girl, you working a corporate job. You working a good job with benefits, okay? You're putting aside money for savings. You're getting into stocks and IRAs and CDs and accounts and all that, all right? A lot of you guys are definitely, you know, um, putting, like I said, a lot more value upon things like that. Knight of Wands in reverse for me is like, you know, girl, I don't want to be couch to couch, check to check, you know, just living life like I don't have responsibility. Some of y'all are parents. Some of you guys are in committed relationships. Some of you guys are business owners. Some of you guys, it's like, girl, I'm... <laughs> I just heard, I'm a very important person. <laughs> it's giving MVP. Okay? I really like that. And you got somebody on the bottom of the deck. You got somebody outside your energy who is not on that type of time. Uh, strong water, strong fire energy. This for me is somebody here who's not welcome in the club. Oh, don't be like that, girl. Don't give us elitist. Okay, now, but... It's like the way this person moves, they're not, they don't seem serious. They don't seem like they want to take things seriously in their life. Ooh. So some of you guys are not dealing with individuals like that. Who, you know, like I said, you kind of feel like don't really take things serious in life. Um, having a means for themselves. Taking care of themselves. Being able to take care of themselves, okay? Spirit guys, what's happening to all? This for me is like, and I experienced this a lot younger because people my age back then was, you know, having kids early. They were, okay? But it was, whenever I saw certain people having kids, it it it, it would bother me when I saw that they weren't good parents. Like, I couldn't be around them. You know, it, it's that sort of energy, you know? Like, you might be a cool homeboy or a homegirl, but if you a trash-ass mom or dad, I don't want to be around you. Spirit guys, what's happening to all... It speaks volumes. What's happening to all Earth signs during this Venus in Aquarius transit, February 16th until March 10th in 2024. Miss Store or Mrs. Interosante. We have the Fool card showing up with the Tower. Okay. Two different sides here. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles with the Fool card. I see a lot of you guys taking a different step in, like I said, regarding like your financial security and uh, stability or you're wanting to or you're needing to. Um, This for me is, like I said, someone here wanting to um, solidify themselves in regards to uh, building a home, establishing a home, laying down roots in a foundation, beginning a career path, getting into school. Um, beginning a business, you know, kind of like venturing out in regards to financial uh, pursuits or um, expanding their, I just heard, wealth, tower, ace of pentacles, ace of wands, and the six of cups. It's like one thing doesn't work out, so you try something else and that wind up popping off. Okay, some of you guys, this could have definitely happened to you or be happening to you. You know, you try one thing, it's like, that don't mean I'm going to stop. Ten of Pentacles, a lot of you guys, you know, I'm a, <laughs> I'm a mogul. A lot of you guys have, you know, very much mogul mindsets to where you're always thinking about how to make the next dollar. You're always thinking about new ways to, like I said, establish yourself financially, um, definitely in regards to um, stability. So when, you know, one thing doesn't work out, you're not, you know, out for the count. It's like, okay. Let's figure out another way to make money, right? <laughs> or another way to, like I said, expand my finances. Spirit guys, what's happening to all earth signs during this Venus and Aquarius transit February 16th until March 10th in 2024? Four of swords with the Hierophant. Some, not all, some earth signs are currently um, in the midst of a split or separation. Um, very low key, okay? The door is closed. We are speaking quietly. I ain't letting everybody know your business, okay? 
Um, this could be earth signs who are in a, well, were in a relationship with an air. Air is very strong. I have Libra. I have Aquarius. Um... Maybe a fire, maybe a water sign, but I see a lot more earth signs have gone through this uh, or are going through this with an air sign. They've separated from that individual. Now, some earth signs have moved on completely, okay? Um, so they're in their feelings. Remember how I said earlier there was somebody outside your energy who was mad because they can't get in the club of earth sign, okay? They shit ain't together. So sorry, I did say that, okay? Some of you guys, no, nah, I don't know. You're still there. <laughs> the individual is still there. It's so weird. Okay. Um, like I said, some earth signs are currently going through this and they're just kind of wrapping their mind around being an individual. Okay. Um, going, you know, trying to figure out things as they're about to proceed through life as just, you know, an individual and not being with someone anymore. Um, if, you, if some of y'all like it, what? It's not you. It's a family member. Somebody close to you that's going through this. Somebody that you work with, your co-worker might be going through this girl. Okay. Hold on. Four more cards. Spirit guys, what's happening to all earth signs during this Venus and Aquarius transit February 16th until March 10th in the year 2024? Six of cups, oh, with the seven of swords. Oh. Some of you guys have or had someone outside of you who is definitely the grass is green on the other side type of motherfucker. Um, like, I just think that when things get tough or whenever they, they feel like there's an easier way out, they will take it at your expense. All right. This person is all about them getting ahead and everything else second. OK, like I say, they don't really care about how it affects other people around them. The things that they'll do to get ahead. Unfortunately, some of y'all, this was someone close to you. Ten of Pentacles and the Six of Cups for me represents, you know, uh, a family member, a family friend, a friend of the family, someone that you grew up with, someone that you were very close with, you've done business with, you've dated, you've been involved with, you were in a serious relationship with. It could be anybody. Right. I have strong air and water showing up i think it's a good thing that this person's true colors have been um revealed to you um how this person really operates because you wanted this person in the kingdom that's what it's giving it's like, could you imagine had you had kept this person around you whenever you were, you know, in your prime? Whether it, you feel like you're in your prime right now or you feel like you're getting there. You know, it's like, imagine what would have happened had you had, had this. It's happened the bull in the china shop, literally a liability. Okay. You would have had Mr. Sticky Fingers in your mansion. Also realize that whenever you start to obtain more for yourself and you feel the need to be a lot more guarded about yourself, pay attention to people who get upset about you setting boundaries with yourself because those are people looking to, you know, what can I take? Spirit, guys, what's happening to all Earth signs during this Venus in Aquarius transit February 16th until March 10th in the year 2024? The Hierophant is your granddaddy, okay, with the five of wands. Excuse me, crazy combo to have the Hierophant and the Fool card show up in your reading, babes. So, this is what it says to me. The Hierophant for me, for me represents being divinely led and guided, okay? Operating under a higher power. And this is your energy, Earth sign, Taurus. Oh! 
on. A lot of you guys are trailblazers in your family, meaning like you were the one who went, to, the first one to go to college, the first one to graduate high school, the first one to have your own house, the first one to own your own business. Um, it's like a lot of you guys were like the one of the few, if not the first in your family to, with the food card, do something completely different with your life and really, you know, be able to, you, you know, um, have something left behind. You know, whether you are with somebody or single, a lot of you guys have left a legacy, right? You have made a name for yourself. You ain't got to be famous in order to do it. You might be. Okay, but <laughs> some of you guys, like I said, um, the work that you put in in solidifying yourself, creating stability for yourself, um, is definitely something that can be passed on or is definitely um, notable um, within your lineage, within your bloodline. This for me is, you know, being raised or being brought up by, you know, uh, uh, hustlers, people who, you know, was willing to go get it, people that was ambitious, you, you, a product of your environment, right? Be aware, not everybody was raised like you, brought up like you, given the same opportunities as you. It don't matter, okay? Everybody get their own, right? But this will rub people the wrong way. Five of Wands, people that see you as competition, people that, you know, see something within you that they want or they feel like is, you know, um, like I said, an advantage. I'm going to be honest with you, Earth Signs. A lot of you guys appear privileged. Hear me out, okay? Don't, don't, don't start knocking shit off the table. It's like people might look at you and feel like you've been given a good life. You've lived a good life whether it be by family or just you know the odds was in your favor a lot of that's jealousy i'm gonna just be honest De <laughs> devil in the five of wands some of, but like some of you guys it's just in the you know like i said the things that you've done this for me is like the person who's done something with their life basically they're not just out here just floating in space right some of you guys there are people outside of you who hate that devil in the five of wands. Like you, you definitely generate envy um, around you just by, like I said, being taken care of. Whether it's you do it for yourself, you live a life of comfort, luxury. Ten of Pentacles is out here, right? Or nobody can tell you nothing. <laughs> the full card and the hard man. It's like. Devil in the five of wands. I think people who are used to stepping on other people to get ahead. Whenever they see someone who, you know, doesn't have to do that and they're still happy. Right? It tends to rub them the wrong way. Does that make sense? All right. A lot of y'all didn't have to sell your soul or do the bullshit in order to be, in order to live a comfortable life. And there will be people outside of you who feel like they had to do, they might have had to do things, okay, or be in certain, you know, places or spaces. Um, but with the devil and the five of wands, this for me is, you know, you're not doing it for the right reasons. You know, the things that you want are very worldly. Spirit, guys, what's happening to all Earth signs during this Venus and Aquarius transit? February 16th until March. Booty up. March 10th until uh, March 10th in the year 2024. The Page of Pentacles with the higher fiend. Oh, wait. Sorry. I was looking at the thing. Emperor. My bad. Men, the emperor with the hermit. Some of the men getting a little gray. <laughs> I didn't cut that out. I did not appreciate that at all. Some of the men are getting a little gray in their beard, on their hair. It's like um, some of the men, specifically the Virgo men, okay, are aging great. All right, you look good. You look good. You look good. I don't know. Something about them Virgo men. Let's keep it going. Anyway.
A lot of you guys are also outgrowing a lot of different things, people, beliefs, principles. It's like the older you get, the... <laughs> It's like, do I really know anything? It's like, I feel like the older you get, the more you feel like, I really don't know anything. I'm such a student. You're finding out more about what goes on around you in this world, about yourself. Spirit guys, what's happening to all earth signs during this Venus and Aquarius transit, February 16th until March 10th in the year 2024? Two of Swords. With the star. Let the past go. Virgo, okay. Virgo, I could be talking to you specifically. Don't take over the reading now, all right? But earth signs, be care, be not be careful. Be okay with letting go of the past. The four and the two of swords is out here. If you add that up, that's six. And the six of swords is all about transition, okay? Moving on from things, especially with the full card. A lot of you guys, if you feel like you're outgrowing certain things, that's okay, okay? It's a sign of growth. It's a sign of evolution. Damn. Man and a bitch for healing? That's crazy. There are certain people who are mad that you don't get into the bullshit anymore. You know, it's like you're not easily um, available. You're not easily um, obtainable. Like I said, you're not, you know, um, interested in the rowdy stuff anymore. Some of you guys, that might have been a part of, you know, certain people as well. And you kind of like, you know, put, uh, people, places, and things. I got to cut it out if it has a bad influence on me, the devil. And I say that because the star card is out here. It's like with the higher fan, a lot of you guys, you know, girl, I don't want to say you're trying to be godly. I don't want to say that. But it's like you're trying to live a, a cleaner life, you know. This could be in regards to, like I said, who you hang around with, the type of things that you get into. Or this could, you know, tie into, like, taking care of yourself, being active, being healthy. Exploring um, certain hobbies and interests, uh, entries and <laughs> interests and ideas of yours, and there are people outside of you who are mad about it. It's almost like they're mad at your confidence. They're mad at the fact that you're willing to, you know, step out on faith and do things that you know people didn't expect of the Earth sign. They didn't expect of you Taurus. They didn't expect of you Virgo. They didn't expect of you Capricorn. How dare that bitch be different? Some of y'all a water sign feels its way towards you. Uh, Scorpio is very strong. Some of y'all an air sign feels its way towards you. Libra and Aquarius is very strong. For some, the earth sign is this individual. Let's keep it moving. Spirit, guys, what's happening to all earth signs during this Venus and Aquarius transit, February 16th until March 10th in the year 2024? It's that energy of... Uh, when you're doing what everybody else doing, you cool. But whenever you start doing something different and it actually start getting traction, how dare you? No, we all need to be the same. The moon. So you could have sun, Venus, or moon in an earth sign. And some messages in here will definitely resonate with you with the Make It Happen Captain. The Magician. This is definitely the, the definition of moving by faith, not by sight. If you look in this two of swords, she can't see anything. The moon card is about things being hidden, right? And the fool card is about, you know, the unknown, stepping out on faith, getting outside your comfort zone. A lot of you guys is just like, if I feel moved to do it, I'm going to do it. Now, hopefully you're not stepping off no cliffs, you know, and doing stuff like that, but a lot of you guys aren't feeling the pressure to uh I don't want to say stay small. It's like if you if you want to do new things, try new and different things in your life, you feel comfortable to do it. You don't feel ostracized. Well, you don't give a fuck about being ostracized anymore. You don't give a fuck about being looked at weird. You know, you're going to do what you want to do. All right. If you want to move, you want to relocate, if you want to start a business, if you want to get into certain activities, you know, you're going to do it. 
and you don't care what anybody has to say. Some of y'all, this could be the, you know, the pep talk for you. Okay. This could be the group meeting for you to get you kind of, you know, in, in, in the zone, auto zone. You know, somebody here need to go to auto zone. That was really random. Remember your overall energy is the prototype never been seen and or done before. Last card. Spirit guys, what's happening to all earth signs? Never never let them know your next move, earth signs. Whenever it comes to things that you um, are trying to do, and it's coming out um, here too. Fire signs had this. You need to be careful about mimicry. Okay, that's why I said um, keep things to yourself. Certain ideas that you have, right? Because there's always somebody around, you know, looking to do what you're doing. I mean, you really, that's really inevitable. You really can't stop it. But it's like, excuse me. Whenever it comes to certain ideas, keep those to yourself. So here, guys, this could be as simple as don't be telling everybody what you want to name your baby before your baby get here. So here, guys, what's happening? So all earth signs during this Venus and Aquarius transit, February 16th until March 10th in the year 2024. This is the last card. Queen of Swords with the strength. Um, Earth signs, you still want a chance with someone who I feel like is not feeling it or <laughs> um, someone still wants a chance with you and you are not feeling it. Four of Swords, Queen of Swords, and the Two of Swords. Uh-uh. It's like no answer is an answer. <laughs> this is either an air, water, or a fellow earth sign, or um, earth signs. This is, you know, you to someone. I have Libra, I have Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. <sighs> And this could be any sort of relationship. It doesn't have to be romantic. The Six of Cups is out here. This is just, you know, somebody here who has a little bit of history with you. They've been around you before. They want access to the club. And our signs, for some reason, I don't feel like you're going for it. It's like we've grown apart. We've outgrown each other. I'd just rather not waste our time. Like, spoken like a true herb sign. That, that, that's how you let somebody go as a friend. I just think we've outgrown each other. <laughs> I have nothing more to say. Oh, you're so you're so cold with it. Oh, you're so cold with it. How am I supposed to be? Says Earth sign. That was your Venus and Aquarius reading. You could have Sun, Venus, or Moon. In the Earth sign, and some messages in here will definitely resonate with you. Like the video, leave a comment. Thank you.